today I'm going to be showing you how to cut a pineapple three different ways. I'm going to show you how to do a pineapple garnish to go on like a cocktail, a mocktail, or smoothie. It kind of sits on the side of the glass. Like I'm going to show you how to peel the pineapple, how to cut it into spears and bite-sized chunks. This is such a great trick to know because the grocery store, as you know, sells the pre-cut pineapple, but these are much cheaper. Plus, if you want a specialty cut like a garnish, it's kind of cool to know how to do that yourself. So are you ready? Let's go. You want to start with a really good sharp kitchen knife. I'll link my knife set below. I absolutely love it. Then you're going to cut off both of the ends of the pineapple. And from here, you can make your pineapple garnish. You can either do another slice from the big piece or you can slice the top like this. I got a little thin on one end, but I think we can work with that. I'm just going to lay that flat on the board and make a T. Find a good piece like this one right here. And you're going to take your knife and make a little slit about halfway down the piece. And that little slit will sit right on the glass. I'm just doing some seltzer water here, a splash of goji berry juice, and voila. Isn't that so cute? It just makes you feel fancy. All right, to peel the rest of this pineapple, just sit the flat side down. And you're gonna take your knife and go from top to bottom and just rotate it around until you get all that peeling off. You don't stress about getting every little piece. You can always go clean up behind a little bit later. Okay, with that flat side down, you're gonna make a T right through the center. And you'll notice the center is a little bit tougher. That's the core right there. See that piece? We want to remove that. So I just sit my piece down on the board and just remove it just like that. And then turn that flat side downward so you have a stable base. And you can have the spears right here. Or if you want to make chunks, just cut like so. And then you're just going to repeat that same process for every piece. Pretty easy, huh? going to want to transfer those to a storage container. I can link the ones that I have here below. This will be good in the refrigerator for about five to seven days. Oh, look at that. So yummy. And then, of course, you have to taste a piece. Have you ever had pineapple so good it makes you want to dance? All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go sip on my little mocktail and edit this footage. If you found this video useful, helpful, valuable, or if you learned something, it would mean a lot to me if you'd give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you tried this method. I take requests too, so if there's a topic you'd like to see covered in a video, leave me a comment below. I'm also linking the written tutorial for pineapple cutting from my blog in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks again for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.